everybody, I'm Kevin Tushka with the Kickapoo Tribal Health Center Health Promotion and Disease Prevention Department. And this time we have a special video because we value our elders and we want them to stay thriving and healthy for as, as, as long as they want to. And uh, we're gonna have some help today with our elder exercise. We have an actual elder, you can't tell, but she is Miss uh, June Fish. Hello. As you can see here, this is similarly a home setup. Maybe not for you. Uh, my home is definitely not this clean. But uh, uh, we have our helper June here. She's gonna be demonstrating some of these exercises for us. We have five exercises and we're gonna start with the chest press. So she's gonna place her hands and her palms together and she's gonna leave her shoulders relaxed and she wants to aim this in between her collarbone and her bottom of her sternum. And all she's gonna do is pressing this together and extending her arms out, keeping the tension uh, between her palms. And she's gonna return it back in. So all we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this for 30 seconds. And go. So it's very easy to kind of tense up around, so she's just gonna always reset her shoulders. And you're gonna notice the pectoral region or your chest muscles are gonna be activated at both positions that you uh, are, are clasping your hands together. If you notice your shoulders are gonna start, start getting involved too and your triceps. And you just wanna take it at your own pace. Ready and relax. All right, next exercise is gonna be what we call a Y raise. This exercise is useful for the, uh, the upper traps or the neck muscles and the shoulder blade muscles and you're also your rotator cuff. Now sometimes, uh, you can have a limited mobility in your shoulders due to uh, either injuries or just wear and tear on its own. So just take this at, at your uh, level of ease. So she's going to start out with her hands on her knees. And from here, she's going to almost make a goal post and just move it towards the rear and keeping her arms as straight as possible. And that is it. So if I stood over here, I could possibly do uh, the wave with her. But... <laughs> but uh, She's doing better than I, I can on this. But you're really focusing on trying to get your motion to start from your shoulder blades and, and uh, allowing your shoulders to direct your arms uh, back, down to your, back down to your feet. And we're almost done with our 30 seconds here. So it just needs to be relaxed. And relax. And that's the Y raise. Okay, so our next exercise is gonna be what we call the knee tuck. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab onto your, your chair or, or whatever is the most secure position for you on this chair. And Miss June is gonna take her knees and she's gonna lift them simultaneously or at the same time towards her chest. Not necessarily in her chest, but she's gonna go at her own pace as her body and her mobility allows her to do. And begin. So once again, she's just doing it for 30 seconds. Um, this is great for actual hip mobility and for abdominal activation. So maybe you still want a six pack abs. She's already got nine pack as we, as we, yeah, you can't see that, but, but it's there. But she's just lifting. You'll find out that this exercise is probably a little bit more difficult than you, than it looks, but you're just going to go at your own pace. All right, that's the knee tuck, thank you very much. All right, our next exercise, we're actually gonna uh, leave our chair. Uh, Miss June has found a secure place. Uh, you can do this on a wall or a, a sturdy sh uh, shelf or something like that. But all she's gonna do is she's just taking a step away using the length of her own foot. And from here, she's gonna place her hands on her hips and she's getting a, a wide stance, wider than the shoulder width because that's secure for us. And all she's gonna do, using her hips, she's just gonna find the wall. Allowing her body to bend. This is called the hip hinge. So all you're thinking about is your hips. Just moving back, you're gonna feel your hamstrings engage and even your glutes and your lower back. So this is, this is very manageable exercise. And you can also 
uh, maybe if falling may be a possibility for you, please place security measures um, in place of just around your location there. Just like so. She's doing great. She's getting a good stretch in her hamstrings. The hamstrings and the glutes in the lower back are all your walking and running muscles there. And so it's very important to have good mobility. And relax. Alright, so our very last exercise today is going to be a leg curl. Uh, if you notice, Miss June has secured her stance over here using her chair. And this exercise just requires you to take your heels and raise one at a time towards your lower back. And try to try to flex or squeeze uh, that muscle as you, as you get up. We're going for 30 seconds. She's going to add her own pace. And uh, remember, if, if this uh, is possibly a fall hazard for you, get something just a little bit more sturdy. And begin. That is it. This is great for stretching out your actual knee tendons. Uh, many of us, to include myself, uh, may have some knee issues. And, uh, and we kind of have to be a little more diligent about how we, how we work those and how we keep those healthy. Remember once again, your hamstrings are your running and walking muscles. So in order to stay mobile uh, to our best, uh, those require some, some attention and some work. and relax. Thank you for joining us today. My name is June. I'm the medical admin assistant at the Kickapoo Tribal Health Center. It is very important for elders to stay active and mobile. You want to be around for your children's children and to enjoy life to the fullest at all times. Unless you have medical direction against exercising, it's never too late to start. As always, take it slow, ease into it, be smart about the activity that you choose. You may not want to become a bodybuilder or a marathon runner at your age, but you want to be healthy and strong. You want to have strong muscles, strong bones, and be more active. We encourage you to find out if exercise is safe for you and to also let us help you get started and to keep going. The diabetes department is here for you at all times. Thank you.